Oh hi! Thanks for watching my video. So I recently made a video where we played around with The Sims 2 Open for Business where we ran a bakery and that was actually quite a lot of fun. I forgot how much fun the Open for Business expansion pack was. So today we're playing with it again. I might even do like a little Open for Business series. Because there were so many things in this pack that I totally forgot you could even do. Like, I forgot that you could do floral, like, flower arranging in The Sims 2. So I have my Sim here. Her name is Melody. She lives in Pleasant View. I've got a little bit... I, I went custom content shopping. I'm, I'm taking The Sims 2 seriously again now. I have built a little flower shop. It's right there. We don't own it yet. I might have to do, like, a cheeky mother load or something just to give us the startup funds to buy our business. Um, but currently, we're just making some stock. This is that first bouquet you saw was the first bouquet she made. So we do only have, what, three? So because I've already built my shop, I kind of already know that ideally we're going to need about 30 bouquets, something like that, to fill our shelves. So that's what we're going to go for. We currently don't even have any talent badges, and I'm pretty sure there is a florist talent badge, so we haven't even unlocked that yet. So we still have a little way to go. Can I not put that in my inventory if I grab it? Yeah. Okay, make many... Oh, we can only do daisies for now anyway. Okay, fine. I guess we need to improve our... Like, we need to get a better badge before we can make anything different. So let's make the pink ones in a pink vase. Don't even have a gardening skill, so it doesn't look like it's linked to anything other than the talent badges. What's this? Gain a cleaning skill point. Oh, that doesn't have anything to do with what we're doing. What skill is she actually gaining? Is it creativity? I don't know. Nothing's popping up, so I genuinely have no idea what skill she's building with this. My guess is creativity. Oh, actually, I think that's just the, um, the meter to show me how far we've got in making those bouquets. Well, hopefully, before we open up shop, we will have, like, got enough in terms of talent badges to make more than just daisy bouquets. We made 11 bouquets. Do we seriously still not have... Oh, we still don't have enough talent badges to make anything other than just daisy bouquets. So I guess... I guess that's all our florist is going to sell, then. <laughs> it's just daisy bouquets. Maybe we'll just take a couple of days before we actually open up shop to see if we can improve our talent badge situation a little bit more. <gasps> yes! A bronze flower arranging talent badge! Okay, okay, sweet success. Right, I'm gonna stick this. Actually, I'm just gonna sell that as it is, because I already have 20 daisy bouquets. I don't need any more. Um, make many. <gasps> Wildflower bouquets. Here we go. Okay, we'll do three of these. I've got so many daisy bouquets now, I might just have to... I'll save them for restocking purposes, I guess. Okay, so now we've got four wildflower bouquets. This time we'll make this type in an orange vase, and then maybe we'll move on to tulips. I am cheating her needs, by the way, um, just because, you know, this video isn't about how to keep your sim happy in The Sims 2. It's about getting business done. Okay, so now we'll make some tulips. I just kind of want to... I'm not... I won't be upset if we don't get a gold talent badge, but maybe if we at least get silver, then we can make a good range of bouquets to have in our little shop. Also, I've noticed that when I get her to make many, as soon as I cross it off, she immediately stops what she's doing, takes a step back, and then it allows me to decide whether I want to scrap that bouquet or just finish making that last one. So clever compared to The Sims 4. Really appreciate that. So if I cross off make many wildflower bouquets, yeah, she just stops and then it lets me decide what to do. Love this game. So efficient. We've got a silver flower arranger. Okay, I'm just going to stop doing flower arranging now. Or stop what I started. You can... Let's just scrap this tulip bouquet and let's see what else we've unlocked. Uh, so now we can do rose and mixed flower bouquets. Oh, I remember these. I always thought these were so pretty. And then I think once we've made a good selection of both, we'll call it a day and then we'll go and buy ourselves a little shop and then see how we get on day running a flower shop. Okay, it is the next day. We've been constantly making um, bouquets. We have more than enough now to fill our shop. So I'm going to go purchase community lot. I don't know if I'm going to have enough money, but we'll just see how much it's going to cost to buy my florist. And if it's more than what we have, then we'll just do a cheeky mother load. Go and go get on the, those real estate websites. Florist, okay, 23,000. Oh, we just about have enough. 
Fantastic. Yeah, we will purchase it. Damn right we will. Um, I wonder if I can just go by crossing the street. Visiting the slot will save your game. Would you like to travel? Yeah, we'll walk. <laughs> I don't think we need to drive. I think we might be all right to cross the road. Look both ways, Melody. Okay, here we are. It's pretty, pretty basic um, floral shop. I tried to make it pretty, but right now we don't have any stock up, but that's fine. I will place some of my larger plants on the middle table. Maybe I'll stick some up here as well. Just try and make this place look nice, you know? Get some of our tulip bouquets out on display as well. They look tiny compared to the other ones. Okay, we've got all of our stuff. Oh, maybe I did, did I not put any lights in this building? It seems very dark in here. Maybe we'll just get a little bit of light, shall we? There we go. Okay, so first things first. Oh, I have a customer already. I haven't even set anything for sale yet. Okay, let's um, just set all of my plants for sale. Um, let's do um, just expensive because we put a lot of time and effort into making these floral arrangements. We're not just selling, you know, random shit that we bought off eBay. This is our love, blood, sweat and tears. So you best believe we are going above average. Okay, I think that's everything. Although I still need to hire an employee. I want to get someone working the cash register. Hire employees for this lot. Do it right now. Hopefully we can get someone good. This guy, no talent badges. No thanks. D none of you have talent badges. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, fine. Matthew, congratulations. You've got yourself a job. But you will be fired at the earliest opportunity that I come across someone else who has a talent badge. Oh, I need the open and close sign. Oh, yeah. How could I forget this? I just did this. The open and close sign to call my employees to work. Of course, of course. Call in employees. And then while I wait for them to turn up, I'm going to come greet some of these customers, see if I can work my my magic. Um, let's do a basic sell. Are you whispering to the bush? Bit odd. My employee still isn't here. Ah, oh, you just can't get to staff, can you? Oh, this customer, why why are you why are you writing stuff down? Why are you doing minus stars? What's your problem? Oh shit, Daniel's bought something. Oh, I better go and be the cashier quickly. Where is my staff? I already called my staff in. Where the hell are they? I think I should I call them in again? Call in employees again. Okay, I've got two customers now that have bought things. That is very good. Um, I'm just going to be the cashier until my employee turns up. I think it might have been because I couldn't reach the sign. So that might have actually been my own dipshit fault. Um, basic sell for Daniel Pleasant. I'm here for my first day. Don't forget to assign me. Okay, I am more than happy to assign you a job. Assign, be cashier. This is another good thing about um, running a shop with stuff you've crafted yourself. You don't have to worry about the cost of like restocking. I don't even really need to restock. I can just do that when I get home. So that definitely saves me a job. Daniel Pleasant, for a customer who keeps giving me like minor stars, you sure are buying a lot. So basic sell, basic sell. Oh, I think that went down well. She, she gave me a star. Is that my first? Yeah. That is my first star of the shop. Oh, thank you, Cameron Lee. I've taken a look at your business and I'm disappointed. I've written a bad review to warn others about your lackluster establishment. Oh, Jay, I don't know where you live, but I'll find out. And you know what you'll find? A steaming bag of shit on your porch. Oh, that's really sad. Really sad. Oh, that customer, she's checking her pretend watch. She's subtly trying to tell the kid he's taking too long. Maybe if I distract Daniel Pleasant, then it will um, give us the time for the kid to finish ringing up that customer. Bit fucking harsh, though, sending me a critic on my very first day being open. Is that witch a customer? I'm going to go greet her. Greet the witch, see if she wants to buy some flowers to concoct into her little her spells or her curses. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Would you like to uh, see my goods? Would you like to come look upon my treasures, witch? You can look upon them. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Oh, quiet day. Quiet day. We've only had three customers and one of them was a fucking snitch. Oh, well, at least the kid's getting some till skills. Um, no, don't talk to the witch. Just leave the witch. Le leave her to it. We'll just wait and see if we get some more customers. Oh, is that Dina Caliente? Hello, Dina. Did you come in just to check out the, the kid over there? Uh, actually, I don't know if that is a teen. I think it is a teen, in which case, Dina, naughty, naughty. 
Sales, basic sell. Oh, finally, another customer. Okay, cool, cool. Sales, basic sell. This place is dead, man. I'm sure when I ran my bakery, it was so much busier. What time should we close? Maybe like five-ish? Five might be a good time. Close up. Oh no, we have vermin. Oh, uh, spray, spray them, spray them. I bet it was that witch that did that to our store. Oh, did I just get another star? Yes, I did from Dina Caliente. Oh, Dina, you're so generous with your stars. In your own sweet time, Matthew. We've only got customers waiting. I'll come and talk to this one. Keep this customer occupied. You know what's quite a small thing that I really miss? This right here, the floating head. I really miss having them in The Sims 4. Oh, we are now rank one. Great. What kind of perks should we get? Simply influential. Discount. I think we need to do some damage control after that fucker came and gave us a bad review. So let's do reputation. I don't think with the amount of flowers that I have in this shop, I don't think I'm even going to bother restocking tonight. I think I'll still have enough stock for a successful day tomorrow as well. So I don't think I'm going to bother. Sales, basic sell. And then again with this customer, we'll come back to her for some more. Do I have an option to disallow? Okay, no, I don't have the option to disallow new customers. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait for these guys to either buy something and get out. Okay, this customer's paying. Great, great. I, that's another star for me. I'll come give this guy a basic sell and then I think we're going to close up shop. But you know what's interesting is I'm pretty sure I'll be able to play through this exact same day again because when I go back home, it will be like no time has passed. It'll be like a weird reality where we live through the same day every day. But at least I'm getting stars. This customer gave me two stars. Little Joe Carr here's given me one. The only one who hasn't given me one is the guy that came to review my store. How are finances? Current session. Okay, we're in the we're in the high. We're in the green. Turning over some profit on our first day. A lot of businesses don't get that pleasure. So, very lucky. Very lucky indeed. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and close up because I think whatever happens, I'm always going to have two customers. So let's close the business, send employees home, and then we'll open up for another day tomorrow, which will be in about five minutes. <laughs> All right, everyone, last call. Get the fuck out. Oh, shit. Uh, ring up these customers. We've got a customer waiting to pay. Come on, let's go. Let's get him rung up and out of here. Okay, come on, Melody. I believe in you. I believe in you. Ring up the customer. Look at it, look, customer looking at me like, what is taking so long? I'm sorry, Joe. Don't look at me like that. I'm not the sim. I asked her to do her best. <laughs> he looks genuinely pissed off at me. <laughs> okay, all done. All done. Let's go home. Beautiful. Yeah, just like that. It's Wednesday at 8 a.m. again. So I guess we'll, um, <laughs> we'll go back to our flower shop and then we'll just, we'll run through the same day again and again. We'll never age will never progress. Perhaps that might be a flaw actually in The Sims 2 is how time works. Oh look at that. Business rank one, business value, I've got five stars. I need two more customer loyalty stars. Your business has received a negative review. See that, that's over my head that. That is on, that's my reputation being tarnished from that one review. Oh, call in employees, open business as soon as you finish spraying the area for bugs. Oh, that has really ruined my day, that review person. God damn it. Okay, finally we've got rid of the bugs. Dispose of them. Oh, I've got the exact same customer as yesterday. It really is reliving the same day. Daniel Pleasant's turned up again. Surprise, surprise. I'll come greet these customers. Sure, why not? Greet Cameron Lee again as well. Good morning, good morning. I wonder if I'll get exactly the same customers again, in the same order as yesterday. Daniel Pleasant really doesn't like to be sold to, does he? He just has no patience for it. But I've now unlocked the ability to offer at a lower price. So let's try that, offer at average. Let's try that on Daniel, give him a discount. I know you don't like my sales tactics, Daniel, but what about this? Still no? Oh, he made her cry. Oh. You might need to toughen up, Melody, as a business owner. Sometimes you, you got to take some shit from the customers. That's kind of how it works sometimes, unfortunately. Hey, we got another star. We're only one loyalty star away from reaching the next business level. I'm pretty sure it goes up to, if I remember correctly, I think it goes up to five, like business rank five. I really can't remember. 
It might even be 10. How's our finances looking? Uh, we're a little bit in the red from paying our employee. So we haven't really sold enough to make up for it. Okay, Daniel Pleasant, I'm just not going to try anything with him. He's obviously the kind of customer that wants to just be left alone and browse. And no hate, I'm exactly the same. I don't want to be spoken to when I'm doing shopping either. So that's fine. You just do you, Daniel Pleasant. I won't disturb you. That's a weird shadow thing. Yes, business is now rank two and I've gained another perk point. Okay, let's do Sterling Reputation then. Let's go for the Connections route. So how many stars do I need? I have five more loyalty stars to get to business rank two. So I'm currently a buddling brokerage. But my business value's gone up to 10,000 simoleons. Pretty good. Pretty good if you ask me. Okay, well I have one customer buying and I, I lost. Don't poke the customers. Maybe we should just ask him to leave if you're gonna start fights with the customers. Have you gained any talent badges yet? No talent badges, not even for cash registering. Okay, well, according to this, you're still fairly paid. So if you get yourself a bronze badge, then maybe I'll give you a pay rise. Why are you just staring out the window? That's very deep. You having, you pondering your own existence. And are you looking at me? So weird how the Sims look at me in The Sims 2. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, it's five o'clock. Day two, I think I'm going to close the business, send employees home. We did uh, get some kind of profit. We didn't get as many sales today as we did yesterday, but hey-ho, that was still fun. I still have a lot more fun running a business in The Sims 2 than I do in The Sims 4, and I can't quite put my finger on why. I, it could be that it feels like there's more of a progression system here than it does in The Sims 4. You know, I can see exactly where I stand with my customers, with my employees, the business perks. I mean, I know you get perks in The Sims 4, but they just feel a lot clearer in The Sims 2, I guess. But yeah, this has been fun. This has been fun. I think I'm going to um, play around with open for business a bit more. I haven't actually run a salon before, and I think you can run a salon in The Sims 2. So I think that might be my next adventure. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.